What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll quickly be showing you how to get started with CircuitPython on your Raspberry Pi Pico W. This is the contender to MicroPython, so typically people do use MicroPython, but some people use CircuitPython on their Raspberry Pi Pico, Raspberry Pi Pico W, and I'll show you how to get started with that. So first thing you want to do is just go to thani.org and install Thani. Depending on the machine you're on, I'm a Mac. I'm just going to click Mac and go through the whole process and download it. So simple as that for the first step. Second of all, you're going to want to open Thani, and then I have my Raspberry Pi Pico plugged in, actually, to my computer. So what we want to do is actually we want to go to the options in the Thani, and then we want to go to this guy right here, an interpreter, and we want to click CircuitPython Generic, and we'll just go to the port that our Raspberry Pi Pico uh, is in, and I'm just going to click Install or Update. And as you can see right now, I currently can't see uh, where the target volume is. And the reason is is because I haven't hit the bootloader, the boot cell button before plugging in my Raspberry Pi Pico. So for those of you guys who don't know what the boot cell button is, it's pretty much this button right here where um, it's the only button you can pretty much click on this board. And you have to hold this button while plugging in the USB so that the, the, the storage can mount so you can install the firmware for CircuitPython. So I'm just going to go and unplug it. And then before I plug it back in, I'm going to hold the boot cell button. Okay, so while I'm holding it, I'm actually going to plug it back in. You can't see this. This is off the screen. But I hope that description is straightforward enough. So I'm holding the boot cell button. I'm plugging my, my micro USB back in. As you can see, the volume showed up. I'm just going to... So I'm using the Pico W, actually. So I'm just going to click this guy. But it would be the same thing with the Pico. And I'm just going to install. Okay, so that should take uh, maybe a few minutes here. So I'll just fast forward that. And then I'll show you guys a, a bit of sample code that you can run here. That's done downloading. It should say done. I'm just going to close all this stuff. I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to go down here. You can see it's set up for CircuitPython generic. And simply what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on to the Adafruit website. And I'm just going to download one of these example CircuitPython pieces of code that just pretty much blinks the LED on, on board the Raspberry Pi Pico every 0.5 seconds. So I'll just go back, type that in. Make sure it works fine, and let's run it. So if you did everything properly in this video, you should see the onboard LED blinking for your Raspberry Pi Pico, and now you should be able to start coding in CircuitPython. And that's pretty much it here. So if you found that useful, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you want to see in the comment section down below, and also let me know if you had any issues in doing this process. I'll be happy to help you respond to the comments. And stay tuned. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy.